The monarch butterfly is getting harder to spot across the world. I love monarch butterflies. I was sad when I heard this news. Well, NBC5's Adrian Pastor spoke with some local experts working hard to keep the population alive, and he brings us more from Paul Smith's college. The monarch butterfly is one of the most recognizable and well-known butterflies on the planet. Recently, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, better known as the IUCN, has listed the migratory insects as an endangered species. Less rain, more drought conditions are uh, tamping down milkweed growth, for example, and again, getting back to monarchs, um, they're dependent on that plant, and if we're losing that due to drought and, and higher temperatures, we're putting populations at risk. Scientists estimate the population of monarch butterflies is dropping rapidly. Martha Vandervoort runs the butterfly house at the Paul Smith College Vic. She and her team are aiming to preserve monarchs, educating visitors on the challenges facing the population. The most important thing is education. And through bringing native species into this very small, intimate, quiet environment, we're able to engage people in the diversity of life and show them the diversity of moths and butterfly species that live here in the Adirondacks. The Butterfly House works closely with researchers tracking and aiding butterflies at all stages of their life cycle, even taking part in an international effort tagging nearly 200 monarch butterflies each year in hopes of learning more about their migratory pathways. Today we put our new milkweed in the tanks and this one actually had seven caterpillars and they all, except for one, have crawled up and made their chrysalids. Student Allison Lamb says anyone can help these beautiful butterflies by simply planting milkweed in their home gardens. Even if it's just in our corner, you know, we can really make a difference. As of right now, the United States has yet to declare the monarch butterfly as an endangered species. Vandervoort says the IUCN's move to place the species on its list is expected to begin conversations globally, fostering new ways to preserve the population. In Paul Smith's, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.